Thanks for checking out the video. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Hello, friends and students, viewers and subscribers. Let's study the song, Takunu Takunu. This piece is in the meter of 4-4 four, four, and in the key of A flat. We'll, we'll learn to play it a few different simple ways, just the chords, okay? Well, let's start with the easiest thing, a D flat power chord. This lasts for two beats, well, one and a half beats. And then after that, you're gonna move to the A flat power chord. So you're moving from the fourth fret, the chord is rooted on the fourth fret of the fifth string, that's the D flat chord. And then you move to the fourth fret of the sixth string with the power chord, and that's the A flat. Now, rhythmically, or the timing, is to switch on the end of beat two, like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that will help us get the timing right. One, two, and three, four. Now, after that, let's move up to the eighth fret of the fifth string with the power chord and make this F five chord or F power chord. And then with the same rhythm, switching on the end of beat two, let the F fall from the eighth fret to the fret number six on the same string, on the fifth string. And we'll call that an E flat power chord. So with the simple power chords, let's put it all together in slow motion. I'll count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Again, one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, those simple power chords really should be enough, but if you'd like to, let's say, enhance it a bit, go ahead and for the first chord, make a complete D flat major chord. Then for the second chord, let's make a complete A flat major chord. Then instead of F5, we can play a, a full F minor bar chord. Then down at the final chord, fret number six, instead of E flat power chord, make the complete E flat major bar chord. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna do just one more way to play the same thing. And this would be to put the capo on at number one. So here we have the capo at number one. The first chord, we're gonna use a C. But because of the capo, it's a concert D flat. Then we can move to a G. Of course, because of the capo, it's a concert A flat. And then instead of uh, F minor, we'll use this E minor. I don't need to say it anymore. It's a concert F minor, right? Everything's boosted up one half step. And for the final chord, we'll use D. Okay. So let me put this all together in slow motion with the capo version of playing the chords. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, off. Now there's a few other sections to the song that I have transcribed and included in the sheet music in this video. So if you like to learn more of the song, go ahead and study that sheet music that I have provided, and you will see that. Even though the chords come in a different order or a different pattern, it's the same four chords, okay? So, with these items, I hope you will have the tools to study well and have fun.